marriage and divorce glory be to father god lord jesus christ and to the holy spirit today i'm going to share about um marriage and divorce what does god think about marriage and divorce because today so many people are getting married and so many people are getting divorced at the same time uh, marriage has lost meaning to some because of the numbers the rising numbers of divorce in the world today but this is a message to them that are planning to divorce and it's sad that in the church so many are looking to this divorce I know it is hard sometimes in a marriage it gets really really tough but you can't what 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 was um lollipops and unicorns in the beginning you know it's, it's now salt and vinegar but this is we should take counsel in the word of god i'm going to read from the book of mark chapter 10 from verse 2 and the pharisees came to him and asked him is it lawful for a man to put away his wife tempting him and he answered and said unto them what did moses command you and they said moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away and jesus answered and said unto them for the hardness of your heart he wrote you this precept but from the beginning of the creation god made them male and female for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they twain shall be one flesh so then they are no more twain but one flesh what therefore god has joined together let no man put asunder and in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter and he said unto them whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another committeth adultery against her and if a man shall put away his husband if and if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another she commits adultery <coughs> so moving according to the bible right now divorcing your husband or your wife and getting remarried the new person you're getting married to you are committing a adultery against the first and you are committing adultery with a new person with a new part partner and um this is sour to the ears of many christians out there but let me tell you something we are not going to make it to heaven if we are in adultery god says he that divorces and remarries is in adultery that is a very scary thing that is a very scary thing and so many of us never see it that way you know i know that marriage gets really tough some people are getting battered you know it's physical it's painful but if you divorce you're not you're not to remarry or if you're I think you can separate and stay different if a marriage is really so bad. If someone is cheating on you, if someone is you know beating you up, if someone is violent, you can stay away from them. You know, you can separate but not divorce. Separation is for a, for a while because I know Satan fights marriage a lot. His demons are out there working a lot. Each and every day, his demons are pursuing married people. You know, we see all this stuff around us each and every day. People make mistakes, you know. But it turns so bitter to some people that they fight. Some have committed suicide. Some have killed themselves. If that environment is toxic, separate, move away for a time. But do not get into another relationship. Now, the Bible says, you, when you move on to another marriage, you are committing adultery in that marriage and against your husband or your wife so 
now this is my own my own perception or opinion what guarantee do you have that the next marriage is going to be better than the previous i think when things get tough it is the time to surrender to god to come and move mountains you might not decide to get married but your partner might that is between your partner and god if you're a man your wife might decide to get married somewhere else or if you're a husband uh, your a wife your husband might decide to get to marry somewhere else now at this point it's between you and god not between you and your husband because he has betrayed you or your wife has betrayed you but stick to what god says stick to the word of god as a christian these things were talked about that uh Christ said that he brought chaos in the world not peace and in these last days i'm telling you there's going to be a lot of separations in, mar in marriages if people are not serving god if people are not going back to the drawing table you know and seeking god so many marriages are going to fail if they are not seeking god and pride 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 is the main thing that kills us you know today it is so sad it is so sad so many people some people have gotten divorced out there and they are teaching people to go and divorce some people are encouraging it i am not encouraging divorce because it's not right before god but what you can do if you are in a house and a man is beating you this is for the ladies move out of that house but don't go into another relationship a curse will follow you where you go i'm telling you these are the marriages you find i want you to 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 follow up marriages people who have gotten divorced and remarried they keep going through the same kind of thing over and over again you know the enemy doesn't stop at one marriage he will come through the second one and this is what happens he shames you he puts you in the news you start seeing yourself all over the place i hear man or woman marries seven times you know and it's not even about your image but if it's about your mental health your your you know your health just move out stay with a, a sister move back to parents or something you know until uh, but even as you move out present this before god pray for that partner if it's a husband that has gone wrong pray for him to come back to god but if you stay in the same environment you are not going to be able to fight for that marriage some can but most can't some people can't stay in the same house and they still seek god but most can't they will be provoked the enemy will use that person to provoke you the enemy will the person will keep doing more and more provoking things but i've seen marriages that have been saved from the gutters you know i've seen marriages where you could have said ah this is going down the drain there is no hope but they have come out stronger and i'm telling you it teaches you a lesson you learn we do not have any guarantee that the next is going to be better what if it's worse than the first these are human beings we are dealing with but now let us deal with humans or partners husbands and wives but let's not forget the will of god because god is number one what does god say about my situation my marriage does he want me to divorce if your god wants you to divorce if you're obliged to do that if you follow the god the lord jesus christ the god of this bible the god of this bible right here then divorce is not for you divorce is not for you and people in church if in people in churches if someone doesn't have where to go you know and 
If there is anything you can do to support someone going through a divorce, help them. Help them. Stand with them in prayer. Provide a place of refuge for them, Lord. I mean, do anything you can. If someone needs to come and stay with you for a few days and you can accommodate them and you have the ability to accommodate them, please do it. Because it is tough. It is tough. Some people are going, are going through financial difficulties in, in these hard times and some people have nowhere to go. They just have to stay in that same toxic environment. Provide a safe haven if you can. Stand in with people if you can. I'm not saying give away everything you have, but stand with them if you can. Provide a roof over them if you can. Just to save their marriage. I'm telling you they will be grateful. And you will be glad that you have saved. Remember the Bible says that if you... Um, um, it says something like... Blessed is he that that calls back a stumbling brother. You know, if someone is stumbling, if someone is heading to the pits of hell and you save them, you catch them, you, you save their soul from the pits of hell. Whoa, you have done a great job. I'm telling you. That lost sheep and then you come back for it, you have done a great job for God. You have no idea how much you have done. Coming to salvation is one thing, but sticking in there. So I pray that some of you have already gone through divorce. By the time you see this video, some of you have gone through it. And don't feel judged, you know. Do not feel judged. So you have been judged, you have gone through this. But as long as you are alive, you still have a chance. The fact that you, you got married the second time, you have to leave that marriage, I'm telling you. You might wonder that, hey, I was married before, but then now I'm married again. You have to leave that second marriage you're in because before God, you are committing adultery, you're in sin. This is hard to listen to hear, but I'm telling you. You might even still prophesy, you might even hear this and you might hear that. But before God, if you die, God sees you as an adulterer or adulteress. You will miss out on heaven. The Bible says that the gifts of God are irrevo irrevocable. And the Bible says again that, um, that many will come to him saying, Lord, 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 didn't we prophesy? Didn't we heal the sick in your name? So many people will walk in sin and they will still perform miracles and still do and still hear from God. I'm telling you, and they will not make it because of our ways. Don't take this video like you're being judged. Let it lift you up. I do encourage you to come back. I am telling you, your life is number one. If that husband, that wife is treating you wrong, I'm telling you, separate from them for a time. As pray. Probably things are going wrong because you need to consecrate on God alone for a time. You never know. But do not divorce and get remarried. This is very tough. So many people are going to get hurt by this message. But I pray and plead the blood of Jesus Christ that it makes sense to you. And it reaches you and it comforts you and it brings you back to the kingdom. God bless you.